Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. We're going to be talking about what's happening with XRP and the XRP community. Now, I'm obviously not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. You guys should do your own research. But let's jump right into the news. Now, Ripple Panda tweeted out, I love this illustration. We could see here, Internet of Value. This is a cool, you know, tweet I looked at. Look at this. AU goes into XRP. Boom, transfers it. So pretty cool, pretty cool illustration right here. That's actually pretty cool. Internet of Value, ILP, Interledger Protocol. Rose on the Moon to you, David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple, talks about coal, interledger, and interoperability. Let's watch this video. Was one, is there one project that you, you're particularly fond of at that stage? And would you share why, what the project might be about and why, you're, why you find it so interesting at that point? Well, I have to say that the one that I find the most interesting is the one that um, has been close to my heart for some time, which is um, Interledger and, and Coil. And what Interledger is, is it's an interoperability solution. There's kind of an irony here that a lot of us came into this space because we didn't like siloed liquidity. It's like if, if you have PayPal and I have American Express or you have this you know, mobile system in Kenya, nothing connected to itself. And the irony is, is that we, real, we rebuilt that same problem. We have something like 1,500 tokens and you can't, they, they, don't, they don't interoperate. So we reinvented the very same problem that we try, we're trying to solve. Interledger is a light interoperability protocol that coordinates transactions between ledgers, and it doesn't care what those ledgers are. They can be blockchains, they can be traditional banking ledgers, anything that can track value. Now, that's an idea for sort of developing a protocol like TCPIP. It's not a business per se, because there's no token, there's no revenue model. Coil is pursuing a particular business on top of that technology, which is paying for content. So rather than having ads and paywalls, you would be able to pay for content by streaming micropayments using an interoperability protocol. And because it's an interoperability protocol built around a web payment standard, it can connect to whatever, any payment system that interoperates with that standard. So you could potentially pay with Bitcoin or pay with euros or pay with anything that plugs into that standard. US and European regulators say crypto a priority this year. OCIE also will continue to identify and examine SEC registered firms engaged in digital asset space. We could see here, US and European regulators say crypto priority this year. Several regulators in the US and Europe have made cryptocurrency among their top priorities this year. The Securities and Exchanges Commission's policy. So we could see right here that all these people, US and European regulators, their top priority this year is cryptocurrencies quite interesting the year of 2020 and immediately you know one of the top priorities cryptocurrencies actor rippler boom the entire italian bank sector nostro vostro nostro vostro everyone will use xrp we can see here let's watch this video the process we imagined based on the, the distributed ledger technologies uh, is uh, has already um, the, the the ownership of the spunta, but both banks share the same ledger. The information are on the bilateral ledger, so uh, they have visibility of the correspondent account at every moment, watching at their balance, their movements. They can see all the information at one time. The ownership change process is very simplifying. It's a bottom. Nostro, vostro, nostro, vostro, and that's finished. This is really a revolution, especially for the uh, Italian market. We will work on a daily basis. So uh, that's pretty much better than the monthly one. Process. It's a revolution, guys. She just stated it right there. A click of a button. And plus, you know, the banks could see their balance at real time, everything at real time, seamless transactions. So that's huge. Revolution, guys. Revolution. Next week is from Happy XRP. Central bankers are quietly freaking out about how to fight the next recession. Imply limits on the ability of monetary policy to support a recovery. So, who knows what's going to happen with the recession? You know, central banks, especially central bankers, are freaking out about how to fight the next recession. Plus, liquidity problem, guys. XRP is there to save it, you know. It's going to be huge what happens. All, you know, it's going to be very interesting what happens this year, especially, you know, the year of 2020. Elections are happening, remember, um, especially what's happening with the recession, the all-time highs in the stock market, you know, 
the banks, so much things are happening. And then, you know, the fight between different countries, so much stuff is happening. So we'll have to see. Fucking XRP tweeted out, people think something like Bitcoin can reach $1 million. When 1 million XRP makes much more sense. We can see here, remember guys, Dave Rishore tweeted out, it can't be dirt cheap. So XRP isn't supposed to be this price we see today. It's supposed to be a lot higher, guys, a lot higher. David Shore stated it, guys. So our research studio, Ripple current bid 21 cents, but we could see here 257 Ripple watch. On the news again, once again, on the news. Crypto class, how to buy Ripple. Pretty cool, you see. We're moving along, guys. Nothing to see here. But NBK crypto tweeted out, Ripples enables SEMEs receive international payments immediately. In a recent release on Tech Native, Marcus Treacher the SVP of customer success at Ripple, the trend of enabling customers to send and receive low value, we can see here. If we click on the article, when we talk about cross-border payments, the two names come in mind, Ripple and Swift. Two platforms can be very complementary and help speed up cross-border transactions. Ripple's head of global banking suggested in an interview. Isn't that quite interesting? When, when, when people talk about cross-border payments, Two two names come into you know the mind Ripple and Swift playing field guys level playing field boy XRP Joel Katz you are the man I don't care about you but I'm stacking XRP so we could see here and if you had a friend and um, their marketing was all about how you could reach all your friends on it because they had this tremendous reach but they had competitors and if I was on CompuServe and you were on AOL there was some way we could email each other good luck if you could figure it out um, we don't live in those days anymore though right. Like today, we, are, we have no difficulty uh, exchanging information. If I want to send you an email, I don't know what internet service provider you have. I don't have to care. I just need your email address, and it just works. And if you've ever looked at the marketing information that you might see from an internet service provider, they'll never say, we have all the websites you want. Right? That would be a nonsensical pitch. For Why? Because every internet provider has the same reach. Information just works. And now they have to compete on service, on speed, on how well they fit you, not what information you can reach, because everybody can reach everything. Boy, wouldn't it be great if payments worked that way. So today, money is locked up in distinct systems, just like information used to be. If I want to pay you some money, I have to ask you what system you're on. And it's slow. Um, Payment, many payment networks shut down outside of business hours. Many payment networks only work in overlapping business hours between the two time zones they make payments between. They take days. They're very uncertain. There are a lot of people who will have to make a phone call to say, did my payment go through? And the payment company will say, we don't know. Call us back in a few more days. There Even you go, when guys. payments succeed, they can be painful because there's no confirmation of receipt. And international payments are the most broken. That's kind of why Ripple chose to focus on international payments first. There that hurts go, some of the poorest people in the world with remittances. First. And the performance that they get is it's just absolutely awful. So the money is siloed. It has to, your money has to be somewhere. And if it's somewhere, it's not somewhere else. And it's never the place that you needed it to be. And that means high costs. That means that there are multiple uh, intermediaries in any payment. And everybody wants a slice of it. And uh, fees are enormous. That's for one of the reasons for financial inclusion. If you're more expensive to serve than a financial institution can make from serving you, they're just not going to serve you. Um, you we tend to think we're overbanked in the United States because you could just go anywhere and open a bank account, but the, a fairly shocking statistic, 24 Americans are underbanked. And over one Sending money internationally is broken. We can see there are different time zones, lots of problems, right, do, you know, doing that, you know, no receipts, you have to call them to check if they, you know, if you received the money, a lot of stuff, or if they received the money, but we can see here, he stated first, what does that mean? Does that mean that, you know, cross-border payments is not, you know, the main goal? His derivatives the main goal? First thing to read out, Japan's finance giant SBI buys 40% of Taiwanese crypto hardware wallet company. We can see here. Japanese financial giant SBI continues its cryptocurrencies ventures with a 40% investment in Taiwanese hardware wallet manufacturer CoolBitX. That's quite interesting. SBI buys 40% of a crypto hardware wallet company. Well, guys, we're into the fun part of XRP and the XRP community. Now, this is quite interesting. We're born to it out XRP community 1, 2, and 3s. It's quite fascinating. Equal singular. 
1, 2, and 3 must be some kind of cosmic number. 1, 2, 3 equals 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3. Cosmic number 666. 666 equal highest level of creation. Hidden secret. Can you see it? We can see here 1, 2, 3. G for 1, 2, 3 is 6. Highest level of creation right there. 666, highest level of creation. 999, new cosmic energy frequency. You can see here, we're born to eat out this right here. If we go down here, Monday, February 24th, 2020. So I'm pretty sure something, I'm pretty sure they're going live at this date. Yup, right here, DTCC go live Feb 24th, uh, February 2020. So that's going to be huge. So either way, it's confirmation again, once again, guys. Confirmation once again. We could see here lots of banks. This is from Baba Cooks. He tweeted about a couple things. Number one, when you understand the scoop of Marvin, you will understand the magnitude of the matters at play. This is not just about XRP, but the defining moment in history. Believe it, it is impossible till it's shown possible. Soon you will all see. Now we could see here, you have seen this account before. Few will remember it. Now we could see here, Lehman tweeted out, I'm patiently waiting, 70% correction on stock market, stacking silver. I'm regularly gathering digital assets. I'm putting some cash on the sideline. I'm keep on buying my prophetic stocks. I'm showing the market. I see blood on the street. I'm ready. The BBB, they found the oil Israel gained their freedom at last. It happened so quick. Nobody knew what happened. Even the Rothschilds family. I see collapse, stock real estate and bitcoin damn that's 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 huge right there now the last two from baba cooks is davos if so it begins january 21 24 we seen from their earlier tweet as well we could see here january january 21 to 24 so in the next week something huge should happen we'll have to see now the final tweet we have is from mr pool he tweeted out this we could see here percent now let's watch this video but i will not play the audio because you know copyright but we could we could see here a lot of stuff you know his videos are typically you know black and white and stuff like this but it has lots of you know symbolism behind it Was that waves or something? Look at that. I'm pretty sure those are clouds. The sky. It really looks like, you know, a war. Or something along those lines. Oh, that looked like a rocket ship and 5A9 we seen right there, XRP. Hmm, that's quite an interesting video. If we go down here, hop to it up. Here are the words from the notifications. Extraordinary, reset, utter, total, P. Unthinkable, payment revolution, question mark. Here you will see erupt, B, it will, C, T, D, 3, R. So that's quite interesting we can see here hopefully you guys enjoyed this today's video i'll see you guys in my next one if you guys haven't subscribed already please hopefully you guys are having an amazing day and yeah guys see ya